<laughs> I can't believe that idiot thinks I'm running out of content for Lords. What was that, love? They found the Lego? Well, no duh. Of course they would have found the Lego. They scanned my whole body for it. It's got to come out of me. What? It's got to come out immediately. Um, okay. Hey, give me like, give me like 10 minutes. I'll, I'll get down with this video and we'll talk in a bit, okay? Love you. <clears throat> this music. What's going on, Malakis? It's your boy, the NCZ3 here. And in this video, we're going to talk about is it worth it or not. But before we get into all of that mess... <clears throat> yeah, that's right. I've been practicing that. All right, guys, check this out, right? Before we get into anything, I read an obscene comment. Like, I think it was like yesterday. They said, don't believe this guy posting uh, VNN's content. It's all bogus because my might is higher in the in the beginning of it and then it cuts down and yada 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 listen guys like <clears throat> i can i can lose my gain my all that stuff but it's called i recorded those videos a long time ago and i'm just now publishing them guys i'm telling you right now i am so far i'm seriously backed up uh with with, with rallies and stuff like that there's so many rallies guys we are killing K kingdom 152 absolutely murdering this kingdom i'm telling you guys right now all right um, but the more recent pressing matter is, is it worth it? Okay, a lot of you guys, I don't know why, but there's a lot of gambling people in this game. I mean, don't take my word for it. Almost, eh, probably about two or three times a week inside NBM, the guild I'm in right now, right? We, we bet gold on darkness rallies. Like, are you going to win or you're not going to win, okay? Anyways, though, a lot of you guys want to know, is this is this uh, reach for the stars worth it? Okay, because a lot of you guys always see this, you know, 300k stars and all that good stuff. Like me personally, I'm not gonna buy it because you are like a billion times more likely to get that 500 star count than you are even the 5,000 star count. So, in my opinion, is it worth it to buy? No. I mean, yeah, you're guaranteed 10,000 holy stars, and oh my god. You get all these chests, but bros, real talk, if I had $20 to spend in the game, I actually just wouldn't spend it on this game, to be honest with you guys. I would take my my girlfriend or the lady or the boy I'm seeing or the potato I'm seeing, whatever you're seeing, okay, you could be seeing yourself. I would take whatever it is that I'm seeing, whatever, right? And I would go out on a date or something like that. That's exactly what I would do. I mean, I would not worry about, you know, I wouldn't worry about, is it worth it to do this? Is it... I don't know. Look, that's just me personally. I, I that's just me. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. For me, it's not worth it. Okay, just like just like the super savings, they want they want to bait you into these hundred k holy stars and you know the the you know two hundred k energy and the three day speed ups and whatnot. But I mean, realistically, I mean, yeah, you'll see the pictures on your line chat groups and all that stuff, and you'll really want to go for it. But fam, just don't do it, okay? It's a waste of money. That's all I'm gonna say. It doesn't it doesn't add any value to your account if that's what you're truly trying to do is boost your account some kind of way. It's just not worth it, okay? The same thing goes for the Carpe Diem. Like I there's nothing good inside of this. I mean, if you pull a 30 day speed up, I guess it's kinda worth. But if you're into just buying speed ups like that, I think the equivalent to buying a 30-day speedup is just over $20 if you were to buy the actual gems from a player. Um, you know, and the same thing goes for Material Madness. Like, this monstrous chest, to be real with you guys, I think I bought the Material Madness one time, and that's it. And I just thought it was poop, because literally, there's no there's no Ultra Rares guaranteed except for this right here. And a lot of the times, you get grays and greens. Like... Like, not only is the drop rate for the chest horrible, they nerf the monstrous chest into the ground. So, normally when you'd open up, like, let's say, 20 of these Mega Maga chests, you would get a golden something or the other. But when you open up the monstrous chest in 20s, you get poop and a whole lot of it. Okay? Uh, the packs that I generally like to get are things like maybe, like, gotta, gotta hunt them all. Because there's 150k energy, there's an attack boost, some slayer chest, a relocator, and there's just... There's little things like that that I use all the time. I don't always buy this, but when I do, ha ha ha, copyright, right? Uh, monthly surprise, no, it's not worth it. Berserker, definitely worth it, okay? Definitely, 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 definitely worth it. Berserker, 100% of the way, okay? Stars of Hope, this is the biggest controversy because a lot of players, they truly want to come over here and they really, truly want to win the Labyrinth for, you know, look at this, 791k gems, look at this. 
50k, 57k, 67k, like, every single one of these players wanted to win the Labyrinth so badly, and they spent, a lot of players, they, they spend, like, 600,000 stars, and they see two goblins, basically, the entire time, you know, it, it's not worth it, in my opinion, if you're gonna go spend 20 bucks like that, bros, do yourself a solid, go spend it on something else, you know, and that's all I'm gonna say about that, like, time is money, not worth it, ride, ride the Nostris, yeah, I guess it is kind of worth it, but it gets so repetitive, okay? Once you get your lands built and stuff, Mystic Merging, unless you are, like, big pay to win, it's not worth it, okay? This is, like, basically the 1% of the 1% catering pack. That's not worth it, in my opinion. Clockwork Red, um, I might buy the Witch Doll. I might buy the 20 and the $50 pack as well because I really want to get her to gold as soon as possible because she's got some great skills down here, construction, research, and training, and she's amazing in the Coliseum. Uh, Thorny Affair, I don't even bother with that set. Death Cap, I have never had my leader executed, so I would never not know about it, okay? Be a Champion, um, yeah, I buy it. Feudal Wars, I buy the $5 pack because of the army increase size. That's about it. Resource ready, I don't even bother with that. Again, that's catering to that 1%. But without further ado, let's play these rallies, bros. Mmm, yeah. Look where I'm at. And now I'm like, okay, there's two soon to be three rallies going on right now. One up here and one over here. So I'm like, hmm, where can I go? Look at this. Switch to my attack here. Always switch to your attack here, bros. Check this out. Boom. Pour it in the middle of them, okay? So that way I can join both and not have to worry about too much, you know, uh, of the in-betweens, okay? I'm going to get all of my max travel speed gear on because I want to make sure as I'm getting boosted up, I'm not consuming so many winged boots for everything, okay? And Gok Chan's Rally, I actually didn't get into it, unfortunately, but the guy was empty, okay? I did get into Main's Rally, and if you guys don't know, Main's Got Game is an absolute monster. I don't know... This guy's got something. He's, I don't know what he's got. Maybe like a, a radar or something. I don't know, bros. But the guy's an absolute monster for finding targets. Like, and the, the funny part about this is, is that this aggro guy is actually online. Like, we actually knew he was online because he swapped gear. Like, he, he thought that maybe if he got, I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe if, if he got reinforcements and he swapped gear, we would not rally him. And then maybe he logged off. I don't really know, but he did get zeroed. And Bura, I mean, unfortunately, Bura, man, I, I wish you had better targeting because every everybody you've rallied so far has just not worked out. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. Anyways, look, this guy's getting full reinforcements, right? And it's not gonna stop this rally from happening. So, in my opinion, look, guys, if you think somebody's going to cancel a rally because you were online, you better be like two or three or four hundred million might. And I don't know, bros. I just, me personally, I don't, I don't cancel rallies if I know the guy is probably offline. I, I just don't. Look at that. Ooh -hoo. Check this report out, boys. Just check it out. Check it out. Ooh. 793k. Poof. Dead. Man. It just stings me to look at that report. It really does. And we lost like little to no T4 at all, actually. Like no T4. But look at this guy. Boy. Like... What are you doing? First off, what are you doing building fire trebs? And second off, like, what are you doing being offline and having that many doggone troops? Look at all these reinforcements, though. Rail guard and stealth snipers. Stealth snipers. Huh. Pro tip of the day, guys. If you are getting rallied, make sure when you get reinforced, it's all one troop type. Don't make it two, three, and four troop types. Make it one troop type, okay? That's your best bet. I promise you guys it will be... Let's get our travel speed gear on yet again, and then we're gonna join another rally. Check this guy out right here. Mmm. Mmm. It's tasty. It's a tasty one. Oh my gosh. Can't even look at this report again. Look at that. Just look at it. What would you do? Would you quit? I know a lot of guys that would actually quit after getting hit by a rally like that. Just look at this. Look how many T4 this guy lost. 190, 116, 204. <laughs> he was like an all T4 farmer. You know, it's good to farm some T4s. It really is. But bros, you really... I don't... I don't. I, I, would, I would suck to get hit regardless. Check this rally out though. This Semper guy is a true porter. 
He's a true porter and a resource hoarder. This guy got this guy got that work. He got that work, bros. That's bad combination. Being a true porter that can't defend himself and then being a resource hoarder is even worse. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Let me see here. Is this the guy? Is this the guy? Ooh! 1.2 million wall HP! What? What was this guy thinking? What was he thinking? Did he just think he could, like, you know, outdo us? Outsmart? He was T4 player. Look, bros, if you're a true porter, first off, if you're an all T4 true porter and you get hit by anybody, it's going to be expensive to repair. You better have some T3s up in there or something to shield your T4. Because we could have banged any one of these guys out with solo attacks, but we chose to rally. By the way, for all of you wall HP guys out there, just check to see. Watch watch how quick this wall goes down. And this, I don't even think this is a full rally. Look how quick that went down, bros. That wasn't even a full rally. And this was a lot of T3 in our rally, too. If this was an, almost an all T4 rally, that wall would have went down instantly. Just instantly. Well, I would have went like... And that wall would have been like... It would have went down, son. Just look at this. Massacred this poor boy. Absolutely. And he was in some kind of a wedge. Like, don't don't end up in wedges. If you ever log out, always wind up in a phalanx of some sort and let your guild know what to reinforce you on, okay? Because his guild didn't reinforce him. But anyways, though, guys, look. Hopefully you guys like this stuff. But y'all know what I'm talking about, though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by. And at 20,000 subscribers, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to we're going to do a uh, I don't know. Let me know inside the comments and stay classy.